Hey guys, this is Emric from Emric's Time Lapse. I want to do a little update video on what's going on in Emric's Time Lapse Live. Maybe you can see it, but I'm showing with a new gear. This is a Panasonic Lumix G9 along with a new video mic pro uh, by Rode. So this is what I'm shooting right now. Let me show you really quickly. So yeah, you can see it's my setup. Just one camera, one shotgun. It's going to be my new uh, vlogging gear for my classes as well. All my video work and this is here my um, my desk, my new office. There's a license plate. This is my living room right there. Um, anyway, I wanted to make a little video to kind of update you because, um, yeah, my, my my schedule on YouTube has been kind of hectic. I have been, I've been posting a lot during Black Friday and then now just one video. Um, so the, the good thing is, yeah, I got a sponsorship with Skillshare. They're paying me and I have to do a little, a little advertisement during some videos um, so it's kind of helping make this YouTube channel more alive I would say because <laughs> right now it's pretty much dead but um, help having a little money when I create a video really helps make it uh, you know the, the, the video that create the video a little faster than if I didn't make money because YouTube ads is not what makes uh, you know it's helping a little bit, but it's not a lot. So for the amount of hours I work on the YouTube videos, it's just not a lot of money. Anyway, I just wanted to make a little update. So if you're not interested in my life or this YouTube channel, well, just go watch another video and subscribe. You're free to do whatever you want. I just feel like for people who follow me, I feel like it was um, pretty interesting to do a little video updates on what's going on. So as you can see, I'm in a new apartment because I moved back to Los Angeles, apparently. Some people didn't really, um, you know, see, understand that I was actually, I moved back to LA for several personal and professional reasons. And uh, yeah, I stayed one year in Atlanta, didn't feel like it was for me. So I came back in LA and I feel pretty happy actually. Um, I feel comfortable in the city, I know the area really well, so, and I kind of miss, miss the mountains and the beautiful sunsets, so I'm pretty happy to be back. <laughs> I didn't do a road trip this time, I just drove for about 35 hours between Atlanta and Los Angeles, which is about five days of driving, yes, alone. There's a lot of stuff in my car, but I was also able to keep my furniture by putting them in a container, and then a freight company actually took the container to LA on a truck. So I was able to keep all my furnitures, all my stuff, uh, which, um, I was pretty happy about this. So yeah, that's, um, I'm here, I'm back in LA. I was actually shooting earlier. There's actually, wow. The sunset is actually kind of nice right now. There's a little bit of pink, but I was actually gonna shoot the sunset tonight and realize that the clouds were too thick an hour before sunset. It's going a little bit, I can see a little bit of pink, but it wouldn't have been in my shot anyway. So yeah, let me show you really quickly. A big problem, you know, it has been a tough year for everyone uh, with the pandemic, pandemic, with the pandemic, me included, like, you know, I've been kind of going through a lot of loneliness, anxiety, and everything related to my personal life is obviously affecting my professional life because I work for myself, I create content from scratch. Um, it's kind of tough when you're working for yourself to always find the motivation motivation and the, the energy to to do whatever you're doing and especially during this hard time it has been really really hard for me this year to find the energy to create new time lapses youtube videos um and other type of content even even my classes like i have a big class master class coming and has been really hard to yeah find the energy to shoot it write it edit it it's it's a lot of work, but um, it made me realize that I, you know, I didn't really like working with other people for a long time. For some reason, I really want to do my own stuff and be more independent. And during this COVID, I feel like being stuck almost four months in my apartment back in Atlanta, I felt like I needed like human contacts, human interaction, you know? Kind of what I'm trying to do more and more with my work I want to work with other people and that's great because um, I have a friend of mine, it's an old colleague, it's going to help me shoot my YouTube videos and my video classes. Obviously I'm going to pay my friend because it's a lot of time to, to shoot the videos like this but he's going to come and he's going to be behind the camera. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hire a camera operator 
a camera guy to help me shoot my YouTube videos and to shoot my video classes as well. So it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna make the contents amazing, a little bit better than just me holding a camera or having like static shot all the time. Here I'll be able to really create new shots and I'm pretty excited about this. The good part of 2020 made me realize that I think I slowly wanna go back to working with other people. So that's what I'm trying to do. Having a camera person is gonna really help me create more original content. And I feel like that's kind of lacking on my YouTube channel in my time-lapse work as well. I've been really feeling kind of bored actually with my work, not out of ideas. I do have a lot of ideas actually. It's on Google Drive. I have documents. Every time I have an idea, I'll just go write it down. I also bunch of documents with all my video classes, YouTube videos coming soon. It's it's a lot of work to put this video from, you know, a documents on Google Drive to a YouTube video. It's like, it's an entire process and obviously it takes some time to create all of this and I feel like, um, yeah, everything related to COVID and lockdowns and everything and really, yeah, I was definitely lacking energy and motivation for the past six months. And it's still going right now. I'm, I'm trying to work on this. It's really, really hard. It's really hard because I have all the contents in my mind. I just need help, you know, making it reality. And I'm, I'm really glad I have my friend ready to help me shoot those videos. It's gonna be really awesome. And the, the goal of this video, the purpose of this video is not to, you know, try to be sad or get like pity from, from anyone watching and just, I wanted to share my feelings about my work and how my personal life and what we're going through this year is, sorry, affecting my, you know, professional life. But I'm really happy to be back in LA. I feel like this is the place I'm gonna be definitely way more creative than in Atlanta. I keep saying this, but I really wanna post one video a week on YouTube because I have the ideas. I just need to shoot those videos. <laughs> which is another story. I'm trying to decide what day is the best. Um, I think I came up with Saturday at 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. Pacific time. So it's a good time for pretty much the entire US and North America, but also my followers uh, in France, in Paris, and not just Paris, like all over Europe. It's, I think, a good time for, um, for them as well. So that's, yeah, I want to post YouTube contents weekly. Um, I know I can do it and I feel like if I, what I've been a, a big problem also is I don't have a schedule. I work sometimes at, you know, 10 p.m., 2 a.m. Sometimes I can take an entire day off. Every day is different. It depends how well I slept that night <laughs> or how good I feel inside here, which, you know, kind of having a problem, have been a problem lately with all this anxiety and loneliness, but it's all right. Um, I feel like having people to help me create content, it's gonna give me more motivation, but I also have original content and making new stuff, creating new content, something I haven't done before, challenging myself is really going to help me be more happy about what I'm doing. I really love my work. I just don't want to fall in into a trap where I kind of get bored and I'm doing only for the money, you know? I need to find a different way of doing things in my company. It's not a company, but uh, in America's time-lapse YouTube channel. I need to find a, I want to be, have fun doing all, everything that I'm doing. And sometimes I feel like I was kind of not having fun. I was doing it because I need to do it. If I want to make money, I need to do it, obviously. And I don't want, I really don't want to fall into this trap deeper and deeper. I don't want to, I'm already in it, but I need to find a way to get out of it and really find a, yeah, a, a better way of creating my content. And I feel like, first of all, having a really nice place to live, which I've been trying to do. I have a new couch and you can see it's really nice in the back. I've been trying to really make a, a nice environment. So this is my living room, but I have my desk and computer here. My workbench with all my gear over there. So having a nice place to work and to live in is gonna make a big difference. And yeah, now I need to focus on, on myself, on my mental, and feel a little better. Um, other projects also includes an amazing time-lapse masterclass 2021. It's a big masterclass that's gonna, you know, where I'm gonna take you all over America 
different cities like New York, Chicago, Miami, LA, San Francisco, Las Vegas, and also in uh, nature for landscape and astro time lapses. So it's gonna be an amazing masterclass for time lapse masterclass with almost 45 videos. I only have five done because of the virus. It was supposed to be time lapse masterclass 2020, but you know, it's not happening. And I'm very excited because I'm gonna talk about topics I haven't really taught you before in my previous videos. So if you are interested by purchasing my classes, you can do it so. It's it's gonna be very different time lapse masterclass. Like it's gonna be nothing like, oh, my light just turned off. <laughs> Hey Siri, turn the kitchen light on. I have like a light right there. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be very different than anything I have actually released so far. Uh, Masterclass 2021. I'm gonna have motion control, hyperlapse, a little bit of drone. Uh, yeah, and traveling. It's gonna be mixed traveling and uh, teaching, obviously. Time lapse teaching. And also, I'm coming up with a Los Angeles time-lapse film festival. Um, I'm pretty excited with this too because um, I feel like there's not much going on around uh, North America, actually, the US. Like, really, it's only about time-lapse photography. I think there's a another one, and I'm sure there's a few, or time-lapse is only like a sub-category into like another film festival, but there's no film festival just for time-lapse, a hyperlapse that I think is worth checking out, so. That's why I wanted to do one that is fair for everyone, for the participants, for the jury. And I already have a jury of six people with amazing and talented time-lapse photographers. Uh, the website is gonna come very soon. It's not out yet, so don't try to Google it because it's not there. I'm gonna post a video on this YouTube channel when the time-lapse film festival in LA, the Los Angeles time-lapse film, festival is out and you can start submission if you are interested. So everything is coming very soon. Anyway, I just wanted to make a little video like this. I'm gonna go back to uh, normal content very soon if I can, you know, again, find the energy and the motivation to do it. Um, we are currently in a three week stay at home order, but I mean, if I go out and shoot by myself, I'll be fine. Thank you so much uh, for being here, for supporting me, for purchasing my classes. It just really helps me, you know, make a living from my passion again. And so it means a lot when you purchase my classes. And thank you so much to everyone who you know, bought it during the, um, the Black Friday deals. It really, it was really nice of you guys. Um, I'm gonna come up with new content very soon. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.